Hey YouTube, what's going on? Today's video is going to be flipping awesome. I am more excited for this video than I've ever been for a video in ages because we're in season two, episode three of the Building My Dream Jump series. And today's video is sponsored by my sponsor, Southland Hire. Southland Hire is an Invercargill based, locally owned and locally operated business with a focus on helping locals and supporting local projects. They have everything from two diggers, two tipper trucks, heaps of hire trailers, They've got a tractor, a tow behind mower, every hand tool imaginable, lawn mowers, drills, you name it, they've got it and they'll hire it to you at a competitive price and are super easy, super enjoyable to work with. And if you've got a project, you're not sure how to do it yourself, you can hire Phil out and he'll come do the job for you, whether it's putting in a new driveway, knocking down a building, putting in fence posts with their uh, auger. They do it all. This amazing people couldn't recommend them enough. So what I'd like you guys to do now is go to their Facebook page, self and hire on Facebook, give their Facebook Facebook page a like, like all their recent posts. If you're in the Southland area or in the cargo area, be sure to hire their gear. Couldn't recommend them enough. They've helped me out heaps. That's amazing people. Also make sure you follow them on Instagram and share their page around. I want you guys to all go share this Southland Hire Facebook page everywhere. Get them some more likes and help these legends out. Couldn't recommend them enough. And I'm just so grateful for Southland Hire uh, sponsoring this video. Okay team, there she is, the self and hire digger. So I'm gonna be trying to drive this thing this morning and today for a wee bit before Phil gets here. I'm not a very experienced digger driver, I'm super excited to try it. And I just wanna show you. So last night Phil dropped this off right on sort of like the end of the day where it was dark. So he did get heaps of stuff done. He actually cut in this new roll in here. We didn't get too much footage, but I got a little bit of the time lapse him putting it in. But super stoked and super grateful for the, Phil, the work Phil already did. He's an absolute weapon on this digger, working in the dark, just plowing in this run-in. And it's so good to now have dirt all the way from the top here, straight down through to the bottom where the resi is. And so Phil's going to come out today and smooth this out more, and we'll probably plate, plate compact it as well. But my plan this morning, what I'm going to try to do and try and get as much done before Phil gets here, which I'm really excited to try, is we're changing the dirt spine and pumps. So instead of having a dirt spine to pump bumps, I'm going to stack this landing here up a bit bigger. It's about the same size as my airbag landing. Get a wooden kicker there somewhere, and then do a second landing over there. So it's going to be rolling and this awesome dirt rolling. Wooden kicker one, wooden kicker two, berm into the rest. So rather than chat about it, heat, so what we're going to do, we're going to start up the digger and get into it. Super excited. Sweet team, I'm about three hours in and I'm pretty inefficient, maybe a little embarrassed, but pretty stoked with the effort so far. It's actually super fun driving that thing. But I got Phil from Self and Hire, he's tagged in, he knows what he's doing. So I'm gonna leave Phil on the digger, I might go use the compactor, just sort of on a sit around, try and learn a thing or two. This landing's almost done and he's just so much better than me, so shout out to Phil. But it was super fun driving, I actually really enjoyed driving, sort of learning how to do it and keen to do it again, only one way to learn. But stoked he's the digger now, so we'll get into the time lapse of him doing it. And hopefully we'll see a lot more happening in that one.
Sweet team, so here's an update on the first new landing. So the pump pump used to be like this high and now this thing is looking massive. So you still need to dig uh, the ramp out of here, but if you look for a height perspective, like that is well taller than me, so that's perfect. Just like the airbag landing. And now Phil, the crazy guy that he is, look at this guy, it's like, that is nuts. <laughs> How you going? <laughs> yeah, he's just doing like, genuinely doing like a nose with on the top of the old dirt spine, that's nuts. You're a madman. So, if you guys want capable digger operators, you need to head up self and hire, because this guy is on to, I mean like, look at that. <laughs> He's literally doing a manual down the landing. That's loose ass. <laughs> oh, man, the poor jump. It does feel bad to be destroying the dirt spine, because this thing was super fun to ride, but got to keep progressing the place, so. We're getting to a time lapse now, destroying this thing and making it do a big landing like that one. Sweet, team, just a quick update breaking the time lapse. Phil's just soldiering away, turning that dirt spine to a big landing for another wooden ramp. What I'm doing is in between the blue ramp and the berm, I've just made this drain here work. So what usually happens in like when it rains, all the rain comes off the berm and it rips this runway apart. I'm trying to avoid that and do drainage. I don't actually know heaps of drainage. If you have any tips, please do comment them below. But the idea is the water will come down here then I'll go into this drain here. So I'll turn off this hose. Head on to show that it's working. The water comes all the way down here, flows alongside this runway, keeps this runway from running out, flows out, so it's like all the way down, then comes out here to the left of the ramp, keeps the ramp nice and dry. So while Phil is progressing there doing the big stuff, just taking off a few little jobs as well to try and be productive with the time. Stoked to have the strain going. What I'm thinking the major plan with the strain will have to be is probably to dig like another section along here somewhere so the water off the berm drains into there cut it through here then we have a bit of culvert pipe underneath here that it goes down and under through something like that i don't know but for now stoked on that so we'll jump back in the time to fill absolutely nailing making these landings
All right, team, the sun's just about gone down. We're just about 11 hours into this dig and this build in this episode. And so what's happened since we last checked in over there by the resi, I weed sprayed all around the fence, the whole resi, everything there. And we've also finished up this landing. Well, not finished it, but it's got its rough shape for now. And like, I'm actually really chuffed how sick this thing looks. Like, check that out. And just think of the pace you'll have coming off this and ripping around that berm. Like, it is going to be crazy ripping into this. So there's still heaps that needs done. This one needs slapped up multiple times and packed in better because it's still super soft. And we do have to scrape this stuff here back. Phil didn't do it with the digger because we we're just worried about taking too much back. So that'll be a grubber job. But this is just looking sick, this landing. Like, I mean, just check out these edges. Well, it's all squared off the top as well. Like, it's a little rough, but I'm not going to do it perfectly right now because what needs to happen is over the next sort of two, three, even four weeks, which will probably elapse before I ride it, as it'll rain heaps and heaps, sun rain, sun rain, and then it'll probably drop down like even half a meter when it settles, and then I'll slap it again. It'll be easier to slap, but I also did the back. It's looking really, really good, and it's already dug out for the ramp to go in. Sweet team, I hope you guys are as stoked as I am on the outcome of the self and hire sponsored video. Just so thankful for these guys and everything they got done. It's amazing to think that this used to be a couple of small rollers and a tiny dirt spine. Now it's two proper slope stall landings and a massive roll on. Couldn't be more thankful for them and just so stoked to have the support from Laura and Phil Shepard and self and hire. And so the plan of the future video is obviously slap up these landings, shape not get them rock hard, rake that thing and plate compact that and then get some wooden ramps built by my mate Christian. So the next video will probably be shaping these landings and the roll one. Then there'll be a wooden ramp one and a testing one. But just again, massive thank you to Self and Hire. I want you guys to admit it this far in the video, you're an absolute legend. Be sure to give Self and Hire a like and a follow on Instagram and Facebook. And hit them up for your higher needs. Tell, tell them you've seen this video and that I sent you. That is going to be the end of today's video, guys. It's just been an absolutely amazing couple of days here getting heaps of work done. And super excited for the future of Season 2 of the Building My Dream Jump series. So be sure to give this video a like. Leave a comment about what your favorite part was below. And if you have any suggestions on how to do this better, what you would do, please let me know. I always want to hear your suggestions. Share the video with anyone who might enjoy it or might inspire them. Subscribe if you're new. You guys are absolute legends. Cheers for watching.